Oh, check it out, check it out. Oh, this is so sweet. I've been looking for one of these for a while. This is a scarlet king snake. Or wait, is it a coral snake? Quick, what's the rhyme? Red on yellow, kill a fella, red on black, venom lack. What's this guy? What is he? What is he? What is he? Red on whew, red on black, friend of Jack or venom lack. That means he's not poisonous. He is a scarlet king snake, Lampropeltus triangulum triangulum. Who knew I knew Latin? Not me. I can't speak it. But check it out. This is scarlet king snake. They live, um, this is pretty much max size. They'll get a tiny bit bigger. But it is a king snake, so that means he'll eat other snakes. He'll eat lizards, primarily is what he eats. And he likes to just kind of hang out and hide basically most of the day. Now he, if you've noticed, like I said, that little riddle in the beginning, he is a mimic snake. So that means that he looks like something else, but he's actually not. So he looks like a venomous uh, coral snake, and he was designed to look like that. So things, you know, typically in nature, if it's brightly colored, you know that it's poisonous or venomous or it can be harmful. Well, this guy is none of the above, but because he's got these colorations, that means things won't mess with him. Uh, so it's just a really cool thing that he's been designed to look like. So we're going to let him go, and we're going to go and see what else we can find. So when we release an animal like this, you never want to put him under and put the board back on because you could crush him. So what you do is you put his house back, like we've talked about, and then you let him decide where he goes. So he'll crawl back under. 